So the day has finally come, the day is here. It is finally cam install day. Okay, one more. Could take our push rods now too. Um, if you want, we'll lay them in order. Okay. So our push rods, yeah, these are all. Right. So now they're they're just loose. Yeah, let's pull out. Like so. Gotcha. So we'll lay them in order though, so we know what so not that we're reusing them, but just so for referencing. Okay, yeah. So, is there a difference? I prefer the dealer filters with these, but yeah, my preference. Are they just a better design unit? Yeah. Now, do you take that like in all cases, or just necessarily for the five sevens, or what? Uh, a lot of Chrysler stuff, I like to use uh, Mopar stuff if I can. Stop just reaching, man. Mm -hmm. Long arm mechanics, those would be the guys to, to hire, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to see my resume? No, how long are your arms? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> These guys have a hollow design, eh? Well, that's for the oil to shoot up and through to lubricate the rock shafts. Right. Okay. And to keep lubricating the valves as well. Okay. Lifters, I mean. Sorry. Okay, so one thing that we noted is fairly important to keep straight. We've got it marked out, but keep make sure that you know which one of your rocker shafts is your intake. For your right side, your left side, your intake and exhaust. We're not we're not keeping our same push rods. We got new push rods for it, but if we were going to reuse them, it's important to know which ones are which. It's a little more obvious because the there are different sizes. The intake and exhaust are different sizes, but it, still, it's good to have a organizational system so that you uh, don't mess it up when you go to reassemble it after you get the heads back on. What are your thoughts on do we need new bolts for these? It's recommended to have new bolts. Yeah. Probably not here. Okay. And then the other outside one. Okay. And then... Oh yeah. Some of them might have to crack. Some of them by hand, just the ones you can't get.
back side? Yeah, if you can get that side. The basket's just really stuck here. Yeah, feels like it. Just gotta watch these edges are sharp on these suckers, so. I don't feel like stitches right now. Nope. I've got a hold of the back side. You got the back side of it? Okay. Okay, so for anybody trying to, thinking about doing this install, uh, this is the yoke that holds your lifters in place. So if you were thinking about doing this install, you're likely thinking about changing out your lifters as well. And the only way that you're going to get those lifters is by taking your heads off, because as you can see, the yoke is firmly embedded inside the head. So this is definitely a job that requires taking off the heads to do. Yeah, right there. Beauty. The back one? Sure. Mm. Yep. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. but so far away. Yes. That guy's good. He's having the light on him. Even my impacts at work right now. Super helpful. Yeah. Oh, not too bad. Cool. Nothing so far. Probably drained most of it yeah. on the other oh, side. Oh, this chamber was full, so. Oh, all right. Nice, but... And lift up. And gas is sticking. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, let's try. Lift up here. Yep. Cool. Okay. Good. Yeah. Like the pistons look okay. Like I don't see any. I don't see any flakes or any chips or any. Mm -hmm. We should be able to get in there with your drill pretty good to get all, all cleaned up. We'll just put some rags and stuff into the. Cylinder's good, so yeah. nothing's falling in there. And if it falls out, we know we can clamp it in, so I'm not too, too worried. Okay, so that right now that, that pick in there is just holding the tension of where you clamped it? Yeah, it's just holding the tensioner back to keep tension off the chamber. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ever so gingerly.
Pull that cover off of there. Yeah. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> it was really sticky on there. Is that like a the cam a little cam bit? Okay, I've got it in a couple threads. Okay. And just remember your orientation of this, okay? And we want to keep in in thought about where the first lobe sits. Right. Okay. And just where it's positioned, but usually this will be so the, the new one's going to have a pin there too? Yes. Okay. Whoa, that popped out really easily. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. So, like I say, you're going to have to support it all along the way and try to get a wiggle and jiggle. Turn it here all through, but like I say, you're going to have to try to support it all the way through to try to lift it up the, so the you're not end. skidding your So the back end's not mint. Yeah. That's the trick part with cams is... So you may have to twist and turn to get your lobes past your journals, that sort of thing. But just carefully. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See, up and down. Yeah. Just to get your lobes past. Yeah, I'm just kind of using my own fingers as a leverage in there. Yeah. Sacrifice your body. Sacrifice the body. It's the old saying. Once you get the feel for it, it comes. You yeah, know, it's not so then, then you know what you're doing. It's just your first initial. Yeah. Well, you, I can feel exactly what I was doing. Yeah. I just needed to. Just the different where the lobes are sitting, right? You got to get yeah. past those bearings. Okay. Is it a boy? Okay. A boy. There we go. Boomstick. The boomstick. There is our factory 5.7 cam, and she is gone. She's out. Never to be seen again. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it has been something to focus, I guess.